Okay, <clears throat> good morning everyone, uh, and uh, excellent, yeah, good. <laughs> so let us start the day in a good way, as we usually do, by doing a bit of meditation, uh, just to set the scene for the day. So, uh, here we go. Thank you.
Okay, so <clears throat> again, we come back to some of these foundational aspects of meditation. And uh, two of the foundations of meditation is, uh, on the one hand, the sila, and on the other hand, the right view. Uh, this uh, can be used in all sorts of meditations at all times, uh, just to create that foundation uh, which makes the mind peaceful and makes mindfulness of breathing possible. Uh, so again, the uh, idea of sila is to set up a positive mental state, uh, a mental state that is reasonably clear and bright. Uh, yeah, this is the purpose of sila on the Buddhist path, uh, to make the mind ready uh, for the meditation by having a positive and a bright outlook. Uh, if the outlook is dark, uh, meditation becomes impossible. Uh, and so uh, to do this again, uh, it is very simple to have just a bit of compassion for yourself, uh, a bit of good feeling for the fellow um, people who are here together with us, uh, and by just developing those very, very simple perceptions. Uh, and then uh, not using too much effort, uh, but just giving rise to that sense that this actually is true. Uh, and then to develop the right view, uh, there is a number of ways you can do that. Uh, and uh, one of the powerful ways is to do a little bit of death contemplation at the beginning of the meditation. Uh, death contemplation is the right view of impermanence, uh, the right view of instability. Uh, and just by very gently turning your mind in that direction, uh, it can give rise to a kind of letting go, which uh, takes the meditation to a deeper level. Uh, we start off, as always, just by finding the ease, uh, finding the sense of goodwill and compassion for yourself, uh, where you can really relax uh, and you can just feel really comfortable just sitting here. Uh.
It is such a delightful thing just to allow the world to fade away uh, and allow the mind to become peaceful. Uh, as if all these burdens in life, they have nothing to do with you right now. Uh, they are irrelevant. Uh, the present, uh, just being here and now, enjoying the peace, enjoying the good company, uh, that is really all that matters. Uh, this is where the real life kind of happens. Uh, why? Because now you are aware. Now you are developing some very positive qualities uh, in your life. Uh, this is where the future is created. Uh. But sometimes just to help that process of letting go, uh, to help the idea of uh, finding a refuge from the world, uh, it's useful to do some very simple contemplations, uh, just turning your mind in the right direction. Uh. And one of those is the idea of death. Uh. It's a very powerful idea because it means there is no need to hold on to anything in the world. Uh, and so the way to do the death contemplation uh, is to make it real, uh, to make it the sense that now is the opportunity, now is the chance, uh, now is the right time to be ready. Uh, if you're not ready now, you will in all likelihood never really be ready. Uh, so now is the chance. Uh, so be ready to die straight away. Uh, that is what we're trying to achieve. Uh, so when you do this kind of contemplation, uh, sometimes uh, all you need to do is to bring up that perception. Uh, but just to give you some idea of what the letting, go, letting go process can be like, uh, we'll just do a short guided meditation just to give a sense of the letting go that ha can happen. Uh, so starting out, just to imagine yourself lying on the bed, uh, and you're lying on this bed, and you know that you have come to the end of your life. Uh, maybe you have a few hours left, uh, but this is really the end of the road. Uh, you are lying on the bed, uh, and you will die while you are lying on this bed. Uh, the room that you are in is very simple. Uh, just white walls, white ceiling. Uh, there's nothing in there, just the plain walls is all there is. Uh, you're wearing some kind of white hospital garment, maybe, uh, and a kind of very simple mattress in this room. Uh, there's no window, the door is closed, uh, and you will not meet any other person uh, from this time until the moment you die. Uh, all you are doing uh, is just waiting to pass away. Uh, what does that feel like? Uh,
and uh, just uh, take a note of that feeling, uh, what it feels like. Uh, and then uh, remind yourself that in truth, uh, you are always on your deathbed. Uh, you always should be ready to die. Uh, and if you can get this idea that you're always on your deathbed, uh, you can gain the advantage of death meditation at any time during your life. Uh, but just uh, to take this reflection a little bit further, uh, when you're lying on your deathbed, uh, uh, your death is approaching minute by minute. Uh, you don't really know exactly when it's going to happen. Uh, but what you know is that you have to give up so many things in this world. Uh, you have to let go of all the things that actually have burdened you down in this life. Uh, and uh, one of the first things that you have to let go of uh, is obviously all your possessions in this world. Uh, your house, uh, your car, everything that belongs to you. Uh, the things that are even very close to you in so many ways, uh, everything has to go. Uh. And uh, try, if you can, to feel this unburdening of the mind. Uh, letting go really means letting go of attachments and desires. Uh, no more holding on to the things of the world. Uh, why? Because they are becoming irrelevant at this point. Uh, and you also have to say goodbye to all the people who are close to you in this world. Uh, your friends, your acquaintances. Uh, Everyone, even the people who have been closest to you, uh, now is the time to say goodbye. Uh, now is the time to part your ways. Uh, and from here on, you're walking uh, on your own. Uh, to say your final goodbyes uh, and let everything, all the people in your life, uh, let them go. Uh,
And uh, one of the greatest burdens in life uh, is our sense of self, uh, our identity, our ego. Uh, and now is the time to let go even of that, uh, because you realize that so much of your identity is tied up with this world. Uh, this has no more meaning now that you are going to leave everything behind. Uh, so your sense of position in your family, uh, your gender, uh, your nationality, uh, your educational background, uh, whether you are your social economic status, uh, all of these things becoming completely irrelevant uh, as you're leaving this world behind. Uh, so all that sense of self, uh, let it all go. Uh, And uh, as you go through this process, uh, hopefully you will recognize that there isn't much to think about anymore. Uh, all the things that you normally think about in the world, uh, all of that is gone. Uh, and when there's nothing to think about, uh, the mind becomes peaceful. Uh, and that is the purpose of this contemplation. Uh, to see if you can make that work uh, by letting go of all the things that lead to all this movement of the mind, uh, all this thinking that is often so unnecessary. Uh, and then you are reaping the benefit uh, of this contemplation. Uh. And the last thing to let go of, uh, you recognize now that you're getting very, very close to your final passing away. Uh. Nothing in the world means uh, anything anymore. Uh. And the last thing that you have to let go of is your own body. Uh. The body cannot go with you. Uh. So leave behind your attachment to this body too. Uh.
And uh, what a wonderful thing it is to be able to let go uh, of the body. Uh, this body which is so heavy and so burdensome, uh, which is an endless source of pains and discomforts and problems. Uh, and now finally you can leave it all behind. Uh, what a beautiful thing that is. Uh, and as you move forwards in this way, towards your final uh, time on this uh, uh, this particular existence, uh, there comes a point when you're no longer sure whether you are dead or alive. Uh, and when you realize that you're no longer sure whether you are dead or alive, uh, you realize that this process of death uh, is actually very beautiful. Uh, it's just a process of letting go, a process of abandoning uh, that leaves you feeling this beautiful sense of peace, tranquility, uh, and emptiness inside. Uh, enjoy that feeling of emptiness that comes uh, from this process. Uh. And uh, as the time goes by, uh, you realize that now you are probably dead. Uh, and you sort of think, why did, was I ever frightened uh, of dying? Uh, it's such a beautiful process of letting go. Uh, and then as you go through uh, the understanding of what death really is about, uh, you start to feel a sense of gratitude. Uh, a gratitude to all the people in the world uh, who have made this beautiful process possible. Uh, all your Kalyanamittas, uh, all the spiritual support, uh, the Buddha, uh, everyone in the whole world, uh, you feel a sense of gratitude towards. Uh, may everyone in the world, uh, may you be happy, uh, may you be well. Uh.
And uh, so you can see how this process of dying, uh, it leads you, leaves you with this beautiful feeling of peace, uh, but also a beautiful feeling of appreciation and gratitude and really a friendship uh, with the whole world. If you do this in the right way, uh, this double feeling that we're trying to achieve in this meditation practice, uh, a sense of gladness combined with peace. Uh, and so remember, as you go along, that you are always on your deathbed. Eh? You should always try to bring these qualities with you. Eh? That very simple reflection eh, provides a very powerful foundation for the meditation. Eh? And then eh, you can move on very, very gently eh, onto the breath meditation, eh? bringing these qualities with you eh? and see if you can develop it from there. Eh?
Okay, so uh, just now take just a few moments again uh, just to review the meditation today. Uh, and again, uh, ask yourself if you do feel more peaceful and at ease, uh, ask yourself why that is the case. Uh, what does this process of letting go, what does it mean? Uh, how does it work? Uh, how does it work together with the perceptions that you're trying to develop? Uh, Okay, yeah, everyone, let's have a short break. Mm -hmm.